A couple of years ago, I was applying to college. Okay, it was a lot more than a couple of years ago, but here's what I remember. I got pamphlets in the mail from colleges all over the country, some I knew, many that I didn't even know existed. I figured out which ones I liked, I applied, kept my fingers crossed that I got in. Those days are gone, and parents and students are now dealing with a whole new set of rules. Luckily for parents in Duxbury, the Parent Connection brought in speaker Mary Lee Jones, a former admissions officer for MIT, to help them chart a course over these rough waters. No one understands anymore how to get into college. It seems that the rules have changed. We don't understand what the rules are and why even they've changed. So parents feel the growing tension that they've got to do something to help their kids get into the right schools. They just don't even know where to turn. Because they're not living the life that we lived, right? They're really living very different lives. Every time we have a speaker for uh, the parent connection, we like to then sum up what the speaker had to say in the top 10 takeaways. That's what we're known for. You can go on our website for every one of our speakers. Our um, board ends up compiling what we think are the most important points, and you can go out and read about the top 10 takeaways. With Merrily and the college process, the college admissions process, there's such a frenzy around it because there's so much information and you're involved with a lot of high school kids that what we hope coming out of this particular presentation is that parents are armed with knowledge, they understand that there is a school for everyone out there and hopefully we help them to navigate the process so that they still have a wonderful relationship with their senior when it's all said and done. I'm lucky in that I've spent my whole career in college admissions. I've been on the other side of the desk behind the black curtain so I know what college admissions officers are doing and I know why the business has really changed, especially in the last five years. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pass the secrets on to the crowd so that they can understand what's really going on through the eyes of an admissions officer. They can understand what an admissions officer is looking for. And then they can take that information and pass it on to all their friends so that everybody understands the rules of the game since the colleges are not passing that information on themselves. They have to understand that the college admissions process is a business now. It's a full-out business. All the colleges want to have the best position on the U.S. News & World Report. The college admissions office owns four of the 15 factors of that algorithm. Right. So what I want the people to know is they want as many applications as possible, so they're going to encourage your child to just apply. They want to take as few of those kids as possible they don't want to take very many, that's called the admit rate, and they want as many of those kids to enroll as possible, that's called the yield, and that's where all the decisions get made, based on decisions around yield for that college. This is very different from the old days when decisions were based on whether this was a good educational match between the school and the student. I hope that when parents go home tonight, they fall back in love with their children, because this is a very tough period of life both for the teenagers and for the parents of teenagers. I want them to understand that their children are not them and that it's very hard to relate to the lives of our kids because they're really living in very deep water now and we cannot protect them. So I want parents to feel relaxed. I want them to understand the rules better. I want them to be much more supportive about their children. And I really want them to get what the whole point of it is. It's to help kids develop resilience and turn into wonderful adults.